The synagogue at Capernaum is a fantastic structure of white stone and ornate columns dating back to probably the 4th century AD. But right underneath this 4th century foundation, archaeologists have uncovered the walls of a previous synagogue, one of the oldest synagogues that have ever been discovered, dating back to the 1st century AD. And since the Gospels say that Jesus came to Capernaum teaching in their synagogues, this synagogue, the foundation and walls of which you can see right behind me, has been called the Jesus Synagogue. Now this rather strange looking spaceship shaped church was built here in recent decades to protect a very remarkable house, the house of the Apostle Peter. This ancient residence at Capernaum has been an object of major attention since the second century AD. Archaeological excavations have uncovered a home and subsequent home church that contains ancient writings in the wall plaster, mentioning Jesus as Lord and Christ in Aramaic, Greek, Syriac, and Latin. The structure is very close to the ancient synagogue at Capernaum and contains first century fish hooks and graffiti references to Peter. Jesus left the synagogue and went to the home of Simon Peter. Now, Peter's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked Jesus to help her. So he bent over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. Due to its location, its mention in the Gospel of Matthew, and its treatment as an early Christian church and pilgrimage site, an ancient octagonal Byzantine church was erected over the house of Peter, probably in the 5th century AD. Since then, Christians have referred to this site as the House of Peter. And this is where Jesus stayed when he lived in Capernaum and where he performed a number of miracles. Now look, scholars can't be entirely sure that this is the real House of Peter, but the evidence for it is significant. And they agree that this is one of the earliest Christian houses of worship yet discovered. For me, one of the most exciting things about being here in ancient Capernaum is not simply that it was the former home of Jesus or that it's a location that would have been so familiar to him, but it's that it was from here that the very first testimonies and reports about a Jewish miracle worker first went out. The words spoken here 2,000 years ago are as powerful as ever. They cannot be ignored. Simple fishermen who worked these waters were called by Jesus to become his disciples and later commanded to spread his teaching. By doing this, they became fishers of men.